Hi guys, I am Pastor Mitch and welcome to your word for the day. See, Christians often get a bad rap. The world looks at us and they don't understand us. They don't want anything to do with us. They hear the word Christian or Christianity and they get upset. That they think that we're too judgmental. They think that we're too legalistic, that we have so many rules that we have to follow. And why is that? The truth is, it's because they are often right about us. Maybe not all of us, but they are right about enough of us. And it's because many of us have a hard time applying today's verse. In Colossians chapter 2, verses 20 through 23, we read this. It says that you have died with Christ, and he has set you free from the spiritual powers of this world. So why do you keep on following the rules of the world, such as don't handle, don't taste, don't touch? Such rules are mere human teachings about things that deteriorate as we use them. See, these rules may seem wise because they require strong devotion, pious self-denial, and severe bodily discipline, but they provide no help in conquering a person's evil desires. We often approach our spiritual maturity as this checklist of things that we can or cannot do. We enslave ourselves to these things that seem good at first glance, but can often be a disguise for religion and this continued enslavement to things that aren't actually God. See, spiritual growth is not found in the strength that we have to deny ourselves. It's not found in our self-control. It's not found in our wisdom to create good rules for ourselves to follow. Our spiritual growth, our maturity, is not found in our ability. It is found in Christ's ability. It is not found in our sacrifice. It is found in God's sacrifice. See, you don't have a stronger faith because you chose to not cuss today or because uh, you remembered to pray for your dinner or because you deleted your Spotify list, playlist that was full of bad cuss words. See, while those things may be good for us to do or not do, we cannot make this list a thing that controls our life. The question is, where is your focus? Is your focus on loving Jesus? Because then those things will come, they'll come naturally for you. You're not going to want to do those things that bring destruction into your life. You're going to want to do the things that bring true joy to your life. See, these things won't happen because they're on the list, but simply out of the overflow of our love for Jesus. And your spiritual, your spiritual maturity, it comes from your, your closeness to God. James uh, chapter 1 tells us that if anyone lacks faith, that we should ask God to give us more. And Hebrew 12 tells us that Jesus is the founder and the perfecter of our faith. He's the one that gives us our faith. God gives us our faith, and then he helps us grow that faith into one that is stronger. And we get a strong faith from simply hanging out with Jesus. See, Christianity, following Jesus, it's not about following rules. It's all about growing closer to God. See, when you focus on following Jesus, Christianity will bring you joy. Jesus, he lived a life that was attractive to the people who were hurt and who were lost. Many people sought after him because of the way that he lived. Many people did except for the religious leaders, except for the ones that he called hypocrites. So today, I want to challenge you to focus on Jesus. I want to challenge you to grow closer to him and take joy in the freedom that he gives you. Feel free to like this video and share it with your friends and family. Thank you for tuning in to your word for the day, and we will see you guys tomorrow.